Hey guys, this episode we're going to be digging into how to test your OmniAuth integration in your Rails app and we're going to even talk about how to test your OmniAuth params, which is a additional feature that not a lot of people use, but you can pass parameters across your OmniAuth um, request. So they take you to GitHub or wherever and it comes back and those parameters are saved across that request. So if you want to attach your um, your OmniAuth account uh, to some record in your database, you can pass that in as a param, look it back up when you hit the callbacks controller and assign it however you want. So we're gonna dig into testing that um, here today. So uh, first things first, we need to add OmniAuth to our gem file. I believe I've already done that, bundle add OmniAuth. That is going to uh, tell us, yes, we already added that. Yours will probably tell you, hey, uh, it was successful. Then we can go into config initializers devise.rb and in the OmniAuth section, uh, you can add your own uh, OmniAuth integrations here. So you'll add like the OmniAuth GitHub gem or OmniAuth Twitter or Facebook and hopefully the Twitter news that their API is going paid, uh, hopefully still allows OAuth with Twitter. We'll see, um, but we are going to add one specifically for development. So this is OmniAuth developer, and this is part of OmniAuth itself. So it ships with that. You don't need a separate gem for it like you do with OmniAuth GitHub or whatever you're using. And this is specific to development. So we want to actually say unless Rails Env is production. Uh, so we do not want to include this in production or staging. You can add that there as well if you need to. Um, if you have a staging environment, you'll want to add that. So then um, our routes file is the next piece. We want to go to our routes and our device OmniAuth callbacks controller needs to be defined. We have ours at users OmniAuth callbacks. Uh, and I forgot to mention this app right here that you see is generated with the free jumpstart template that's on GitHub. You can use that and it will pre-configure that stuff for you. So then we can go to our controllers users OmniAuth callbacks and we'll want to add in a uh, method here that matches the name of the, uh, the OmniAuth integration called developer. And I have this handle auth method that will take all of the different options and handle them and save the, uh, or use the specific name for each one. So what this does is basically says, hey, 